You guys feel that? The smell of manure. The gentle summer rain. The warmth of the sun. The stench of burning barn horse poo thing. Yeah, we're back. We are playing Kingdom Come Deliverance again. Questioned northern charcoal burners find Ginger the missing new half stable boy. Um, sh did I? I can't remember. Did I report to my superior or did I not? I think I did, and they went north to uh, chase after those guys. But their horses are still here, so I'm going to take my horse. And uh, let's see where they went. Where's the blood trail? Did I miss it? Ah, there it is. Okay, so there's the guy. My respects to you. Well, that's nice. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for it. Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Rat. Very well, sir. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. I'm sure you've noticed the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs. I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Alright. Each e ear. Isn't that hmm. a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways or barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Alright. Okay, good. So we have reported to him. So we want to go to the charcoal burners to the north. What's down here? The camp leader. Okay, we're going to go here instead. But I think we should be following the road. All right. Find a river, and then follow it. Yeah, horseback is definitely nice. Okay, let's go easy in the bushes here. Actually, I don't know if it matters, but I just don't want to pass up something or hit something by accident because I think there's trample uh, mechanics in here so we can accidentally kill someone maybe or injure them or provoke an attack Ok, 
Okay, lots of cut trees here, so probably we'll find something very soon. Ah, I think I've found it, and I think I'm going to get off for this one. Have I? How encumbered am I? Not. Okay. Uh, let me double check. What am I wearing? Ooh, I have a blood-stained weapon. Okay, so they won't mess with me. That's good. Um, I have one perk point in agility. Okay. And I get one every fourth level up. Cool. We have a dodger. Let's you jump aside during combat. Featherweight falling will cause you 30% less injury. Eh. Fast striker. Light armor. Uh, perfect throw. Winning dice. Ooh, that's good for money. Successful evasion during combat will lower your opponent's morale. Um, all of these are meh. Next one is at eight. Eight. Twelve, twelve. Uh, I don't know, falling. Uh, who knows, I might fall. I might have to escape certain situations like I did uh, have to leave the castle to escape. Okay, so we found a new camp. Let's look at the map. Alright, so there's the charcoal burners. There's one camp here and one here, but I'm pretty sure it's this. All right, let's go talk to him. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhoff. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. Hmm. Uh, I doubt these guys are very militaristic, so let's go with that. Just think about this. If I do find him here and you've been lying to me, I'll have you hauled off in chains and turned over to the executioner. I understand that, but I can't help you because he's not here, and that's that. But I... I told you, he's not here. Yeah, the Lord watch over here. Can I still talk to him? There's something else I wanted to ask about Ginger. So where does he usually go if not here? Do you think we're the only charcoal burners in these woods? Probably not. But this is a big forest and I don't have time to look under every stone in it. And you don't need to look under every stone. All you have to do is follow the river. And you might just run into another camp. Coin. If you're hiding in here, please reconsider. It's Sir Radzig who sent me to find him. No, I don't tell him that. It could help stop more bloodshed. I understand the urgency, lad, but really, he doesn't come here. He's friends with some of the boys over by Townburg. And where can I find them? Head west along the river, and you run into them. Oh, and another thing you might like to know: other people have been sniffing around here for him. Nasty fellas. Where did they go? What did they look like? Well, they headed off to the west. But that doesn't mean anything. And they look... Well, one of them came here and asked a lot of questions. And the other one stood off at a distance, scowling. Just like mortals to carry. Take care now. So I can't ask you anything else? Something else. I really must speak with them. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him for talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that. It's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townburg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Down twins? Okay. Somewhere by the castle. 
If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you. May the Lord watch over you. There's something... No, I'm not going to offer him coin. Okay. Talonberg it is. That guy won't talk to us. Is there anybody else here in this camp? Oh yeah. How hungry are we? 81. We do not want to eat stew. If I go in here, are you guys going to freak out? Sleep. <gasps> Ooh, there is a lockpick. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna lockpick you right now. Let's get this quest over with. Alright, so I need to go west, you say. Over here. Okay. Wait, is the horse's stamina the green one, or...? I think so. And mine's the yellow one. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> How close are we? Ooh, very close. Ooh, easy there. Okay, let's hide our horse in the bushes. Nice, super camouflage, and no one will recognize him. Alright, let's go and see. I wonder if I need to stealth in here so that if he sees me, he doesn't run off. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhoff. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there, but now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. Look, a terrible crime's been committed at Neuhoff, and Sir Radzig wants the culprits found. And here you are making it harder for me. Well, if you've been sent by Sir Radzig, you can deal with those two criminals who've been lurking around asking about the same boy. And do you know where they are? They won't be far, but I don't know where exactly. From here they headed south, so maybe try there. There are plenty of good hiding places around. So you're saying I should find them and kill them? Just see to it they can't cause any trouble here. And then I'll tell you everything I know. Hmm... But I don't know where to look for them. They're always wandering about here. Their hideout must be somewhere nearby. They came here from the east to cross the bridge, threw their weight around, and then went back the same way. And I know of only one place in that direction. What place is that? There was a camp between here and the charcoal burners in the east. They're most likely there. We'll lead you. That's fair. I'll look for them. The words of a true man. Once you take care of them, come back and we'll talk. God be with you. So that is awfully suspicious. He wants me to kill the bandits first and then we'll talk. So it definitely sounds like the bandits are after that guy. My respects to you. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you... What the hell are you talking about? 
Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Won't you take care of them? We won't have to hide him anymore. All right, I'll deal with them. And then you'll tell me where you've got Ginger hidden, right? Right. You get rid of them, and I'll tell you. So where can I find these bandits? I'm not sure exactly. There's lots of places to hide around here. But they came and went over the bridge, so I reckon they must be somewhere between mm -hmm. here and our neighbours. That's a lot of woods to comb through. Not all that much. There's a path around there somewhere leading to an abandoned camp. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, and there's the other twin. Good day to you. What do you need? Take care now. All right, fine. We need to go find these bandits and get rid of them. Um. So where would they be? Probably in the middle of the woods here somewhere. All right, let's take Horsey here. Do we have to feed him? We don't get an option to feed him. Does he have... Does our horse have the need for food? Health, stamina, courage, capacity, speed. Obedience armor, damage, health, speed. Head armor, body armor. I don't think we need to feed the horse, which is pretty awesome. I like that dog. Am I supposed to go right or left? Oh, left. And then right. Should be looking on the left side of the road. Not sure what my strategy is here. Dismount. Oh, it's these deer again. Scared me. found a camp this might be that camp Let's see what do we crap he's coming I have to get out of here Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? <laughs> I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhof. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Great. Oh. 
Wow, that guy was really good. He just completely destroyed me. Because <sighs> I wasn't able to get the uh, surprise on him because I made too much noise. I'm not as stealthy as I think I am. Alright, and we're back here. Okay, so at least we know where they are. Well, wait. We talked to that guy. What about the other? Did we talk to the twins? Did it save before or after that? My respect. Where don't All right. Good luck to you. There we go. Come on, horsey, you can do it. the camp so how am I gonna do this so there's two of them I can shoot an arrow at one of them. I can try. I'm not going to try and sneak up on the other because I don't think that will work. Okay. Alright. Oh, he moved. Got him. Missed. You'll get what for. Okay, uh. we're fighting both of them now. Great. Okay, fighting both of them is a terrible idea, and we are not good enough <sighs> with our bow. Even though we hit him with a bow to the face. Mm. Alright. My respect. Where if all right. So I don't think these guys are exaggerating with those guys being bandits and we need to eliminate them since the bandits automatically attack us. So my stamina bar is for how much I can hold on to the horse before like being flung off or something. Yeah, because he shouldn't know horse riding. So actually, yeah, I should have fallen off the horse the first time I got on top of it. one more time let's take everything off so we can do a stealth kill all 
That's a rabbit. Okay, there they are. Did one of them just go to bed? One of them just went to bed. Okay, so if we can sneak up on the other guy and... Greetings, my good ask. I don't know anyone called that. I'm not even from this part of the country. What a shame. We're worried about him, but we can't seem to find him. Truly, I haven't seen him. If I were you, I'd ask the charcoal burners. Oh, definitely. Thank you for your advice. Well, that guy was sleeping and he darted across to me. Which has me very confused. Okay, so that guy's sleeping now and the other guy's sitting down. Can we just wait for both of them to go to bed? Hold on a second, what time is it? I'm gonna wait for an hour. I have plenty of energy and nourishment, I can do this. Are they both sleeping? I can't see. I think they are both sleeping. So we'll pickpocket them first. What? What the fuck are you doing? Keep your sticky fingers to yourself. Hey, all of you, gather here. Raise the alarm. Oh. Your fist fighting me. Pull out your weapon. Shield, they seem to be doing bad. Man, they injured me good. So I managed to get them when they were when they were asleep. Man, I'm injured, and I'm kind of hungry. So let's see, do I have any food that can heal me? Yeah, let's eat these apples. Wait, wait, wait. Anything else I have health to give? Probably not. Not the bread, at least. Report the elimination to this other person. We can eat from the pot as well. But we're not going to, because we're pretty full. We can probably sleep here, actually. Let's lockpick. Easy. Nice new lock picking. Ooh, lots of cool stuff. And obviously we're encumbered. All right, so let's, since we're injured, let's rest up. And there we go.
Alright, so I healed up a bit. Still encumbered. Can probably eat now. 69, yeah. Did that give me any health back? No. Are the dead bodies still here? No. Where's my horse? Uh, where's my horse? Oh, okay. You gotta be scared, bro. Alright, so let's look at what we have received. Do we have any awesome weapon? Mercenaries Bedfellow, Min Aji 4. We have achieved 4 Aji. So we can get this. This is really good. Better than our CX. So we definitely want that. And the bow. Okay, so we've still got that. Let's look at armor. Defensive wise. We definitely want that. We definitely want that. Definitely want that. Definitely want. Those are nice. That's nice. Nope. I lose charisma if I put those on. But armor. Same thing. Nope. Slightly better. Okay. Nope. Uh, yeah. Guess we have to. Put that there. Doesn't make a difference. Nope. Nope. Apparently that's better. Apparently that's better. Silver ring. Small silver ring and accessory townsman. Mm, donated. Okay, good. We've got a lot of armor on us. Which is excellent. Everything else can go on the horsey. Ain't that rice horsey. Whoops. Alright. Mm, all these arrows, we'll see what we're going to do with them. Keep the dagger. Keep one torch. Alright, so we have only 95 encumbered now. Hmm, we'll see what we're gonna do. Ooh, we have an armorer's kit. Nice. Did I gain anything? Do I have any perk anywhere? No, I don't. Okay, very good. So, where do we want to go from here? What is this? Activity giver. Okay, so let's go back to those guys. Report that we've dealt with the bandits, but we didn't find the big bad one. when I'm better at archery because I'm terrible at it. I 
All right, where are you hiding him? Are you telling me that? God be with you. You know something about Jinja? I might have heard something, and if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. I'm investigating a crime, not bartering for a chicken. Well then, I'm sure you've got some silver on you. Just give it to me, and it'll be a done deal. And what if I bashed your face in and had you dragged off to the stocks in Rat Eye? No need for that. All I wanted was a bit of silver, and instead I get the whip. Spit it out, will you? Well, fine. I've heard that they're hiding him in some remote cottage, at the edge of the forest on the way to Ujits. That didn't hurt too much now, did it? Take care now. Can I still give him the copper? Or the silver? I've reconsidered. We can still come to an agreement, can't we? Really? That's not the way it looked before. Good then. How much were you imagining? You already cost me a bit of my time. Now I want double. That's quite a bit. Let's see. He wants 30. You're not getting anything. Give me more, or get lost. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm finding myself. Farewell. Oh well. All right, where's... There he is. Let's talk to him. Good day to you. What do you need? You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I dealt with them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. That wasn't so bad. So from here going to Ushritz. That's Ushitz. Ushwitz. So there's a small spring somewhere. And Ginger's there. Okay, so he's here. Fair enough. You guys have any. Uh, whatever. Never mind. There's an accident here? Oh yeah, I guess there is. Okay, let's investigate it. I saw some form of interaction, but I missed. Red deer venison. Is that it? Okay, so what can I do with this red deer venison? Venison is the prize of aristocratic hunts, of aristocratic hunts and poaching expeditions. Okay, so I need to find a fire. Cook it and eat it. Ooh. I don't see where this road is supposed to be. Oh, I think I found it. So either this is true or this is a trap.
Looks too nice to not be true. Oh yeah, there he is. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back. And... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushitz and he has a limp. He has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushitz, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. I went out and came back, same as usual. Only I knew there was something there that couldn't. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. But it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I, I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then the killing started, and flames everywhere. Well, that was terrible. Like hell itself. And then? It seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back like right towards me. I had that thing in my hand. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside, and I fell on the ground. And he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. He ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ushitz came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost like. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they are? Doing? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I don't know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. You probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. All right, I'm done with that. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait, what about me? Won't you help me out? Perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? to go back to the farm. 
I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Okay. Alright. Do we get a save game? Because I don't want to lockpick this, I don't want to practice pickpocketing. Okay, doesn't seem to notice or care. Yeah, he's definitely not noticing. Shoot. Key. I pickpocketed a lot of stuff off of him. Let's see. I will eat that. What key did I get off him? Trunk keys. I got a key off him. Door keys. I got a single key from him. Trunk keys. Okay, let's try again. That was so close. Still don't know what key I got from him, but okay. I've got 1200 groschen. Very nice. I can't jump while overloaded. Okay, buddy. Nothing in there. Where's the horse? There he is. My horse, I am overloaded. Help me. All right, why am I so overloaded? What the heck? All right, um, well, let's see, wait, why is... Your horse can't carry anymore. All right, so my horse is overloaded too. It's time to go and sell stuff. All right, so let's go. Let's go back to Neuhof. Is B what I want? Yeah, A and B. Alright. I look how carefree you can be on a horse. Like, I'm surprised going through branches and twigs doesn't, like, reduce my health because I'm, like, getting hit in the face by things. You just go through all these bushes. Sweet. Nothing to loot this time, eh? Unless there is something somewhere else.
Uh, there you go. Nice. Some spirits and some wine. Dude, riding on a horse is so awesome. I have activated my perk. Nice. Okay, these guys are still here. Wait, is there an extra horse? Did the guy come? Whose horse is this? <sighs> so Radzig's here, okay. What is the dog doing? Alright, there's Sir Radzig. We're not gonna talk to him though, we're gonna talk to somebody else first. Good morning. Ooh, I'd like to buy a horse. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. Why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sahamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. That's a great idea. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. Good luck then. Anything else we can dock? I'd like to buy a horse. Buy a horse. I'm glad to hear it. We're badly in need of selling some. Have you looked them over? No. Not yet. Then go and have a look in the stables, so you know what I was hoping you would present me the stats. I have to go and look in the stables. That's that's great, actually. Yeah, I'll wash myself. <sighs> Can we talk to her? No. All right, let's talk to him then. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you, my lord? I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Yeah, the whole. One of the Neuhof stable boys, a lad they call Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognized one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarreled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. Where did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them was from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? 
And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going Sweet. to encampment of Malhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. <sighs> I was supposed to tell Captain Bernard first. Uh oh. Did I just lose points with him? Shoot. I'll be with you. Can you teach me? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Maybe. No. All right, so shoot, we lost some dialogue with him. I want to sell stuff. I don't think these guys do any trading. I need to get out of here. Oh, and I need to go. I need to go to Auschwitz. 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 Kill the camp leader. No, we'll do that later. Let's go to Auschwitz. Yeah. Hopefully we can find... Wait, is that the correct path that I'm headed towards? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll find a trader there that will take all our stuff. Who is this on the road? Hold on. Wayfarer. Can I pickpocket him as I'm walking? Oh, I can. Not bad. Not bad at all. Horse riding is so nice. Deer hunting spot. Really? I don't see any deer. Oh well, if you say so. Deer hunting spot, good to know. this it? Oh no, this is just a little thing before it. Okay, well, eh, since we're here, let's see if anybody has anything to trade. Actually, this looks deserted. Nobody here. Okay. Yeah. 
Interesting sight. Maybe for another time. Yay, horsemanship. Find out where the limping bandit lives. Okay, there's gonna be a few things that we need to do first. I need to find traders, I need to wash up. I need to get rid of all the junk that I have on my on myself and on my horse. This is a butcher. Wonder if he'll buy that venison from us. Good morning. Let's talk trade first. Alright, so I want to sell you food. I'll add that, 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 that. Uh, we'll keep the cheap wine. Here's the hair meat. Here's the pretzel. There's the red deer. Sells for, for pretty good. Anything else I can sell you? No, okay. Thinks to high heaven of stolen goods. I'll buy it, but it won't pay much. Let's agree on the price then. Oof. Give me three and a half. Less. Three point two. Right. And now? That's better. Drop it a bit more, and we'll call it a deal. That's a sum I can live with. Double reputation gained, but okay. Stupid stolen goods, really? Jesus Christ. Alright, butcher, let's talk. Same story. Tell me about the limp. Do you know anyone with a limp? Must be that farmhand Lubot. I don't know what the hell you'd want him for, and I don't much care. He's got a cottage on the edge of the village near the stream. Take care now. Okay. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? That'll be Lubosh. Gallows bait if ever I saw one. His place is at the end of the village next to the stream. Take him and welcome. God bless. Alright, and we got a new perk point in speech. We definitely want that. So we're highborn. Increase speech when talking to nobles and wealthy people. Well, final offer when trader loses patience, you get one more chance to make another offer. In dialogues, you'll see your counterparts' stats and skill checks. Em em empathetic. Silver tongue increases your speech skill when haggling. Troubadour. 50% higher up when talking to women. And one speech bonus so you can persuade them more easily and you can avail. Bath wenches his services for free. Um, yes. I don't need to think about that one. Bath wenches for free. Shop guard. Okay, nothing new from you. So the butcher only bought that. Any other traders around here? It doesn't look like it. Is the town... How big is the town? Okay, so the main town is here. So let's go back to this area that we didn't explore. Confused as to what is happening here. Which area was unexplored? The left. Yeah. Okay, what's to the left? A 
horse trader. Oh. All right. Um. Maybe I'll take everything off my horse first. So let's go to horse. Okay, there you go, horse. You are free. And I can barely move. All right, so let's inspect. I want highest capacity horse. I don't care about anything else. So, 196. Two fifty two. Two twelve. Two fifty two. Okay. Actually, I should have left that stuff with my horse so I can move faster and then I can empty him. You're too overloaded to mount up. Pfft. All right, so that's it for that horse. Two sixty. Sleep near. Two sixty. It's cool that they have different colors and one eighty. Blech. Yeah, it looks like the final two are here. And one forty. This one's actually worse than what I have. Okay, so I don't have the worst horse in the game. That's good to know. All right, so we'll get two sixty over there. Slaper, Winter Whipper, whatever his name was. Ew. I don't know if I want to talk to you. Any work going here? Enough for a dozen men. He could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What happened? Did he do something wrong? Just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach? No, no. Pie was our fastest stallion. A lovely dappled. Oh. Well, that's bad news. How did Vashek manage to lose it? He fell. Banged his head and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse. And then Pie took off at a gallop. Well, I can't take Vasek's job, but I can try to find your pie. That would be nice of you. If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. I was too livid to even speak to him. Right. I'd like to buy a horse. Well, now, have you seen our steeds? I have. Fine animal. Nothing but the best here. Is there one in particular you fancy? Mm-hmm. Tier five. That one. Strong and swift, and there's none as brave. He'd carry it to hell if you wanted. <sighs> Dang, that's a lot of money. Something off the price if I trade in my old one. No deal. Maybe some other? Hmm. I'll have to think it over. God be with you. 2,500. And I'm too encumbered to go on, uh, on the horse, so. Dang, tier 5 horse. I need more money. Shoot. I mean, I could just steal it, but I don't know if I can return here. 
Okay, well, let's see. What is the heaviest thing I have? Let's drop it. Oh, I can just move to horse like that. Okay. can't care anymore really so my horse is fully loaded 191.7 all right pick that up all right horsey horsey let's go Are there any stallions in here? No. All right, so we're looking for a trader to sell our, all our all the little all of our stuff. people gathered in front of that guy. Can I wash up? Alright, I guess we're getting thrusted into this. Did he already get killed? Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what's something to see looks like. I don't please the Saint Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. No bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Mm hmm. Wait, nobody just blood? Oh. Okay. Sacra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. All right, detective work. I came here ASAP. Don't tell me I came too late. What, just because I stopped by the horses? It's in the same day, it was within the same hour. Uh, unless I see a, a failed quest, like get to that guy on time, I don't think there's a problem. Who was Limpy Lubos? 
A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. But you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Another thing about me, Bob. Why does it act like... Okay, that was weird. Alright, Bailiff. I have to interview all of these people. Sheesh. Respects to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lypa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. Oh, everyone's leaving. That man Lubosh who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. That's all. Thank you. No! I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Light. Of One course. more. Ask away. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Well, that's sad. Greetings. What do you need? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush. Ask away. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast. And lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why, of course. Okay, church. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately he started talking to the parish priest of all people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. Good afternoon. Oh, you're a bit older. I'm in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I don't know. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. That's all. Hmm. God bless. All right, we have a big investigation in our hands, and things just keep getting more complicated. So we're going to save here, and we're going to continue some other time.